Yo, 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 welcome back to another six year review. This is Dan here. Today we're gonna be looking at Hellboy 2019. And uh just to kind of go back on the last video a little bit, um you guys were showing a lot of love on it, and uh I just wanna say I appreciate you for watching for those who've watched and uh yeah, it's been it's been pretty fun, pretty dope uh to see that. And uh, if you haven't already, follow us on Instagram uh at six scale reviews. I'll put it right here on the screen. Um, but yeah, let's jump right into this, uh, stop bullshitting around <laughs> and, uh, yeah, here we go. So this dude right here is from the Hellboy 2019 movie. A lot of y'all fucking were hating on it and whatnot. I liked it. It was, it wasn't bad. And I grew up watching the Hellboy movies from when it was Ron Perlman and, uh, now it's David Harbour and, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I enjoyed it. Uh, it wasn't, like, the best. I don't think it was any better than the older ones, but it looked good. Uh, it, it wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah, I had fun with it. Uh, anyways, we're going to be taking a look at this dude from Hot Toys. Uh, it's pretty damn sick, man. Um, I'll do a close-up and everything and show you how he turns into a demon and all that. So let's pan down to the accessories here. Uh, I'm not going to get too deep into all of these accessories just because I'm trying to keep this video short, uh, kind of pressed on time here today, but yeah, anyway, we're going to get it done. Uh, so first off, he comes with a lot of shit, just a lot, uh, even more stuff on him as well. As you can see, like the bracelet, he does have like a little communicator thing here. Yeah, he comes with a lot of stuff. Anyways, uh, yeah, we'll just start with this kind of a lot here. Um, it comes with these dope ass flame effects. Uh, they look pretty good. Like, you see how it kind of looks stale out of the light? But then when you put it in the light, it looks like way better. Looks like it's actually on fire. Pretty dope how Hot Toys kind of did that, especially with this thing. Uh, don't knock the shit over. Um, this thing looks like it's actually on fire when it's under the light. But then, you kind of pull it out here. It's just plain Jane. It's pretty cool, though. I actually really like this thing. It's really heavy. This thing's pretty heavy. Um, yeah, it comes with this long-ass lightning effect for that non-flame sword. An extra vest that I didn't put on because, I mean... He only wore it at the end of the movie, so... And it's kind of a pain in the ass to get on, so I don't feel like dealing with that. Um, the crown is dope. It's held together by this little plastic piece uh, down there. I'll grab it in a sec. But again, it looks really good under the lighting. Uh, outside, not so much. Like, it's kind of flat. But I don't know. Once it's in lighting, it just looks way better. And, I, of course, I'm going to put them together with all this on and what have you uh yeah and this is the little crown whatever thing yeah this is that's his hair i guess the little bun you st stab it in and then crown on top i'll show you i'll show you his rock hands um pretty dope uh really nicely detailed like every little crevice like it looks like real rock like or whatever his arm is made out of. Uh, it looks really good. The paint apps, everything. It's dope. This is the one to hold this sword, though. Uh, oh, shit. Without dropping it. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is the one with the hole. You can just grab sword or whatever. The one that's actually on him right now, though. That one is an articulated hand. So you can kind of... Like, move his fingers and shit around, and... Yeah, I'll show you in a minute. Um, yeah, it's pretty dope. Uh, of course, the horns... It looks... This thing barely fits in the detolf. Like, you have to take off the stand, or else it will not fit with all this on. Especially with the crown on, like... Horns are dope. He does have a tail, which you will see. And, um... Yeah, I'm not gonna do any articulation, because he's... It's this skin-like material on the figure itself and i don't know i 
I kind of just got this thing and I kind of don't want to, uh, for lack of a better word, fuck it up. Um, <laughs> by leaving it in like a crazy pose. Cause I mean, you know how these are, these things are expensive. So I don't know. And I actually, just, he looks really good just standing there and, uh, yeah, we're going to showcase that. Um, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll show you. So I'm going to change him into the demon mode right now. And then you'll see. So, all right. So before I completely transform him. I just wanted to show you what was under the coat and the amount of detail in this is fucking insane. And it's that uh, seamless body, so it's just got that texture. It feels like skin. It's pretty dope. Hairy ass back. <laughs> uh, and like just the muscle definition, like it's pretty dope, man. This is a sick ass figure and you can kind of see why I don't want to like crazy pose him or like do the articulation too many times because then like when you get these kind of seamless uh figures like this they'll end up getting like scratches and shit under and like little tears under the armpits and around the just where it's rubbing a lot and i don't want to i don't want to do that not on this guy not yet at least and like you can see like when you move like the muscle like moves with it it's pretty insane like yeah like it looks like legit muscle like actual human body like mechanics and uh yeah it's pretty sick uh the pants are pretty nicely weathered too i mean i mean i forget the bottom part but homie for show skip leg day because his legs are a little skinny he's a and this is a hefty figure like he's heavy say no joke this is the metal like what you call it like a endoskeleton or whatever inside it's pretty heavy um so be careful if you get him try not to put him in any crazy poses where he's gonna fall because he will fall and he's heavy so you don't want to break anything because yeah you can't really fix anything either it's inside this fucking rubber suit but um all right yeah let's change this boy to a demon all right all right and here he is uh hellboy himself and is fully demon or king whatever you want to call it uh version uh and it's pretty badass man uh let me see if i can move the camera around a little bit but uh this thing is awesome hot toys killed it on this thing um just the shelf presence alone when he's like this is insane it makes my shelf pop like crazy um although he some people he's like oh my god hey it's it's a character he's cool um i know some of y'all didn't like the movie or whatever and that's fine uh i enjoyed it so i got the figure and it's i'm pretty happy with it he is on sideshow right now uh if you want him uh i think this is gonna be one of those one and done type of figures i don't think they're gonna do another one and if they do it's gonna be a long time so if you get some fomo later down the line uh you're gonna be paying some pretty prices uh pretty high prices for this thing so uh warning you now it's gonna go soon so yeah it's it's a nice figure i really enjoy it i'm glad it's something different i'm a little star wars and marvel is out marveled out right now not so much star wars but definitely marvel like i have a lot of marvel figures yeah because i mean I, I grew up watching marvel and like just yeah a lot of marvel was in my life and uh i don't know i'm just getting kind of a little tired of it i wish they went hot toys went back to doing like movies and like video game stuff uh this, other than Star Wars and Marvel, like, that's why I actually really enjoy this piece also. It's just something different. It's unique. It's a very unique figure. Uh, yeah, I'm super happy with this purchase. Uh, and I think you will be too. Uh, honestly, if you, if you somewhat enjoy the movie or if you're just a big fan of the character in comics, I think this is, uh, I think this is a good figure for you, uh. And yeah, he's he's dope, man. He is dope. You would not regret it. I promise you. And um, I think that just about does it for this video. Um, I kind of wanted to keep it short and sweet. 
and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it i appreciate you guys for watching and uh stay tuned for more um me and dre will try to get together do some live streams so we can uh kind of you know interact with all you guys and um yeah just come have a chat and you know express our thoughts and whatnot on upcoming figures and releases and etc 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 but yeah we're just trying to find the time so yeah uh i'll catch you guys in the next one and thank you guys for watching very much appreciate it